namo deva damodar ananta <laughs> welcome to exotic astrology again and today i am back with the most auspicious of all bhajans today is the time for singing damodar ashtakam because kartik month has started in the vedic calendar and kartik month is considered to be extremely auspicious it is there till 4th of november if i am not wrong and this is the time when especially worship related to lord krishna is done in abundance and this is considered to be a extremely auspicious month for spiritual upliftment for spiritual enquiry and for spiritual elevation and paying heed to the tradition we will today sing the damodar ashtakam damodar ashtakam is a beautiful song which is compiled by the great satyavrat muni <laughs> so in this satyavrat muni is in a conversation with the great sage narad muni and another great sage his name is shonak rishi and this song describes lord krishna's childhood pastimes these are too good to be recited <laughs> do not miss this so now what i will be doing is i will be reading out one one shloka and then i will be giving the translation and it is very good that if we can offer lamp to lord krishna in this month of kartik it is said that one who offers lamp to lord krishna in this month of kartik even once in his lifetime he does not take another birth he goes back to the spiritual world all right so let us take advantage of damodar ashtakam and ashtakam means eight verses and damodara means it is a name of lord krishna we will see what damodar means <laughs> actually udara means the stomach so damodar means that lord that god whose stomach is bound by mother yashoda his mother <laughs> out of her love so basically what is happening in this is mother yashoda is very angry with krishna as usual <laughs> she is trying to bind krishna with the ropes but it is falling 2 inches short and then finally out of her compassion out of her love and compassion and out of her attraction for lord krishna lord krishna finally takes pity on her <laughs> because he is the supreme lord you cannot bind the supreme lord by ropes that is not possible but by seeing mother yashoda sincerity and love he allows her to bind him in his belly and that is why this is known as damodara udara means the belly so i will be singing out the shlokas there are eight shlokas in total as it is known as ashtakam ashtak is eight and before beginning god is there with you all the time and he is especially there with you now when you are hearing damodar ashtakam so i will uh, sing one shloka and then i will give out the translation and in this satyavrat muni is talking and he is glorifying lord krishna very much these are the most beautiful of the stanzas that you will find in the scriptures and i will paste this translation and the shloka in between in the comments so if you want to sing yourself and by singing if you want to offer lamb to lord krishna that you can do very well he will be very pleased let us start so the first shloka is as follows and this uh, this is from the padma puran all right padma puran from there this damodar ashtakam is coming there you go kartik month and damodar ashtakam namam ishwaram sachidananda roopam lasat kundalam gokule bhrajamanam यशोदाभलाधवानम परम ऋष्ट द्रुत गोप्या सो हियर सत्यव्रत मुनि इज टेलिंग टू द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड हूज फॉर्म इज एम्बॉडीमेंट ऑफ इटर्नल एक्जिस्टेंस नॉलेज एंड ब्लिस 
namam ishwaram sat chit anand rupam namam ishwaram means i offer my obeisances to god ishwara and sat chit anand refers to <coughs> whose form is embodiment of eternal existence knowledge and bliss three things eternal existence knowledge and bliss sat chit anand these are the three things <coughs> anand refers to bliss chit refers to knowledge now <coughs> in the next stanza he is telling lasat kundalam gokule brajamanam means wh- whose shark shaped earrings his earrings are like the shark <laughs> whose shark shaped earrings are swinging to and fro because he is running out of fear of his mother who is beautifully shining in the divine realm of gokula who due to the offense of breaking the pot of yogurt that his mother was churning into butter and then stealing the butter that was kept hanging from a swing so what krishna did was he went and hit a pot which had butter and it fell down so his mother was very angry so she is running with the stick that i will beat you this time who due to the offense of breaking the pot is now quickly running from the uh, wooden grinding mortar there was a mortar that there was kind of a in i don't know what you call in hindi it's just like a, in assamese you call it dheki <laughs> mortar is just a small place where you go and sit sometimes he is running from the wooden grinding mortar where you grind rice and other paddy things maybe in traditional indian households it is there in the wooden grinding mortar he is running away from the grinding mortar in fear of mother yashoda who has be who has been caught from behind that means krishna has been caught by mother yashoda from behind from behind by her who ran after him with great speed or with greater speed <laughs> that means krishna was running and yashoda mai was also running so she was running with a greater speed because she is elder so she can run fast <laughs> to that supreme lord shri damodara i offer my humble obeisances so i will read it once again so that you can understand better to the supreme lord whose form is the embodiment of eternal existence knowledge and bliss whose shark shaped earrings are swinging to and fro his earrings who is beautifully shining in the divine realm of gokula gokule brajamanam in gokula in vrindavan who due to the offense of breaking the pot of yogurt that his mother was churning into butter and then stealing the butter that was kept hanging from a swing is quickly running from the wooden grinding mortar in fear of mother yashoda but who has been caught from behind by her who ran after him with greater speed to that supreme lord shri damodar i offer my humble obeisances that's what satravat muni is telling then the next look guys ट्रांसलेशन इज एज फॉलोज seeing the whipping stick in his mother's hand he is crying and rubbing his eyes again and again with his two lotus hands with his small lotus like hands he is rubbing his eyes in fear and he is very he is in horror my mother will rip me apart now she is with that stick see god is also fearful these days <laughs> anyways this is from his time not from kaliyuga he is crying and rubbing his eyes again and again with his two lotus hands his eyes are filled with fear and the necklace of pearls around his neck which is marked with three lines like a conch shell is shaking because of his quick breathing due to crying so lord krishna was breathing very heavily so his necklace which was there was shaking because of his very fast breathing crying due to uh, breathing due to crying he was crying that is why his body was shaking 
to the supreme lord shri damodara whose belly is bound not with ropes but with his mother's pure love i offer my humble obeisances that means krishna has been captured and now the stick is with mother yashoda and he's she's going to attack him so krishna is very fearful he's breathing very heavily he is he is not uh, he has no idea of what is going to happen to him now the third shloka is iti drishvalila bhiranandha kunde swagosham nimajantam akhya payantam tadiye shitagne shubhakte jitatvam puna prema tastam shatavti manye the translation is by such childhood pastimes which is known as leela voluntary acceptance of a role for increasing the enjoyment this is not that in reality krishna is been bound by mother yashoda that cannot happen because he is god but this is leela leela means voluntarily he has accepted a role to increase the happiness of his devotees and mother yashoda although she is his mother but she is also in the role of a devotee here she is also a bhakta here by such childhood pastimes that's the meaning of the word pastime leela bhir iti drikswa leela bhir leela is the word here used leela means that he he is he is voluntarily doing it nobody is forcing it for people like you and me to take birth and do <laughs> he is voluntarily taking the, up these roles to give happiness to everybody else including himself of course by such childhood pastimes as he as this he is drowning the inhabitants of gokula in pools of ecstasy pools of ecstasy not ecstasy pools of ecstasy happiness and only happiness and is revealing to those devotees who are absorbed in knowledge of his supreme majesty and opulence that he is only conquered by devotees whose pure love is imbued with intimacy and is free from all conceptions of awe and reverence with great love i again offer my obeisances to lord damodara hundreds and hundreds of times so there you go god can only be captured when you have love otherwise you keep searching him in the forests or in the sky or below the earth you will not find him and how to develop that love listen more about him speak about him just like a boy and a girl gets obsessed about each other that is how simply you will get obsessed about god also the next shloka is varam deva moksham na moksham vadim va na chanyam vraneham vareshadapi ha idam teva purnath gopalavalam sada me manasya virastam ki manye the translation for the fourth shloka o lord although you are able to give all kinds of benediction see point you are able to give all kinds of benedictions i do not pray to you for the boon of impersonal liberation nor the highest liberation of eternal life in vaikuntha he is telling i do not want all this nor any other boon which may be obtained by executing the nine processes of bhakti i will discuss in another video the nine processes of bhakti or devotional spiritual yoga O oh Lord I simply wish that this form of yours as Bal Gopal in Vindavan may ever manifest in my heart for what is the use of use to me of any other boon besides this So Satyavrat Muni is telling I do not want spiritual perfection I do not want any other benediction I do not want anything else from you I just want that this baby form of yours running around in Gokula is always captivated in my heart that is all what i desire i do not desire anything else i do not even desire to live in the spiritual realm just imagine what a great personality is satyavrat muni ki jai then now the fifth shloka idam te mukham bojam atyanta nile vitam kundalai snigdha ratyascha gopya 
मुहुश्चुंबितंबिंबरक्तरम ने मनस्या विरास्त मलम लक्षलाभ है द ट्रांसलेशन इज ओ लॉर्ड योर लोटस फेस विच इज विच इज एनसर्कल्ड बाय लॉक्स ऑफ सॉफ्ट ब्लैक हेयर टिंज विथ रेड मीन्स हिज चिक्स आर रेड is kissed again and again by mother yashoda and your lips are like the reddish bimba fruit muhus chumbi tam bimba rakta dharam mein bimba is the reddish fruit your lips are like are reddish like the bimba fruit may this beautiful vision of your lotus face be ever manifest in my heart how beautiful it is your lotus face which is encircled by the locks of soft black hair tinged with red is kissed again and again by mother yashoda and your lips are reddish like the bimba fruit wow what a description when i read this i remember the vishnu sastranam where it said bhupado yasya nabhir virash chandra suryo janetre sun and moon are both of your eyes and now the sixth shloka namo deva damodar ananta vishnu prasida prabho dukha jalati magdyam kripa drishti vrishtya ati dinam batanu grihane samamagyam e yakshi drishya so the sixth shloka's translation is O supreme godhead i offer my obeisances unto you o damodara o ananta o vishnu o master o my lord see how many abbreviations are there o supreme lord i offer my obeisances unto you o damodara o ananta o vishnu o master my god too many <laughs> o my lord be pleased upon me by showering your glance of mercy upon me important okay <laughs> deliver this poor ignorant fool who is immersed in an ocean of worldly sorrows and become visible to my eyes my god look who's talking here <laughs> satyavrat muni is talking that he is immersed in an ocean of worldly sorrows my god i'm just imagine if this was true then how come he is in the pages of padma purana <laughs> that shows how humble he is immense humility he feels that he is a very low person he is engrossed in this worldly activities he feels like that because he is actually a great soul that is the number one symptom of greatness you feel you are very low <laughs> that is not inferiority complex inferiority complex is a by product of self absorption it is just another version of superiority complex humility is way ahead than inferiority complex humility means to be humble even when you have everything <laughs> that is what is the meaning of humility that is what is the meaning of being grounded being down to earth even when you have everything just like hanuman ji he went to the lanka and he gave the knowledge of mother sita in ramayan but when everybody asked him oh you are so great he said no 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 i just made a jump and uh, this happened that happened he didn't over exaggerate it kept his profile low keep profile low keep your profile low my guru maharaj always says keep your profile low whatever you do keep your profile low so see satyavrat muni is telling this by showering your glance of mercy upon me deliver this poor ignorant fool who is immersed in an ocean of worldly sorrows and become visible to my eyes <laughs> so he feels that god is not visible to him there you see another symptom of spiritual advancement you feel as if you have not made any advancement and then there are some people who say oh i have awakened my kundalini 2 years back i have seen god i have seen him i have seen her i don't know what all who all they have seen <laughs> now the next the seventh kubera atma jo badha murte vaya dwa t 
स्वयं मोचित भक्ति भाजो कृत च तथा प्रेम भक्ति स्वखा मे प्रय्छ नमो क्षे ग्रहो मेस्ती दामोदरे हा द सेवन श्लोक ट्रांसलेशन इज ओ लॉर्ड दामोदर ही इज रेफरिंग टू हिम एज दामोदर मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम बिकॉज दैट्स दी वर्स राइट दैट्स दी पोएम दामोदर अष्टकम ओ लॉर्ड दामोदर जस्ट एज द टू सन्स ऑफ कुबेरा मनी ग्रीव एंड नला कुबेर वेर डिलीवर्ड फ्रॉम द कर्स ऑफ नारदा एंड मेड इन टू ग्रेट डिवोटिस बाई यू इन दी फॉर्म एज अ बेबी टाइट विथ रोप टू अ वुडन ग्राइंडिंग मोटर इन दी सेम वे प्लीज गिव योर ओन प्रेम अ भक्ति आई ओनली लॉन्ग फॉर दिस एंड हैव नो डिजायर फॉर एनी काइंड ऑफ लिबरेशन सो वॉट सत्यव्रत मुनि इज टेलिंग इज हियर दैट Kubera who is one of the four dikpalas lords of the four directions he is one of them and he is in charge of the treasury of the demigods treasury is the money the wealth the uh, the prosperity of the demigods of the heavens so kubera is the in charge of indra <laughs> and the heavens he his descendants are known as yakshas and he had two sons their names were nala kubera and manigrev and these two were obsessed by the power and position of their father and they started misusing it so what happened one day was they were indulging in playing with women with the apsaras in a lake or in a pond and they were indulging in this water sport <laughs> and then suddenly the great sage narad muni narad muni appeared there who is son of lord brahma himself narad muni appeared there and narad muni saw these two ignorant fools enjoying without wearing any clothes <laughs> and they were so much engrossed in liquor and wine and this the madness around women and the water and that whole that whole scene that he they completely forgot that a great sage like narad muni such a elevated spiritual personality is there here and the apsaras who were the celestial queens the celestial girls who were also enjoying with nalakubera and manigrev they also didn't have any cloth in their body but as soon as they saw narad muni they went inside the water and they started covering themselves they felt very ashamed when narad muni came in front of them but this two nalakubera manigrev they were not having any clothes in their body and they were like what's the big deal man just chill it's okay <laughs> <laughs> what's the big deal we are just having fun right <laughs> and narad muni got compassion he got what you say in sanskrit daya usko daya aa gayi un pe phir unhone socha he thought let me give them some blessing in the form of a curse <laughs> so then narad muni said you both will be taking birth as trees and you will live for millions of lifetimes trees are naked but the problem is nobody sees them <laughs> maybe other trees see them <laughs> because that's what happens you get bodies according to your um, actions in this life so if you have a desire or if you know somebody who exposes too much especially their private parts well then you know what i just said <laughs> no worries destiny will await them and then lord krishna when uh, and then these two got birth as trees arjuna trees in the courtyard of lord krishna itself where lord krishna used to play and they could see lord krishna's private pastimes and then later on lord krishna uprooted the trees and he delivered nala kubera and manigrev so that's what is written here that how the way you deliver nala kubera manigrev from the curse of narad muni which was actually a blessing i this that's what he says that from the curse of narad muni as they were made into great devotees because they were obsessed with the power and position of their father it's called that what you say in uh, sanskrit it's called mother mother means obsession madness and you did this in the form of a baby tied with a wood, wooden uh, tied with a rope to a wooden grinding mortar 
in the same way please give me your own prema bhakti so he's telling just like you did that please give me elevation in spiritual knowledge let my attraction to you be enhanced every moment after moment i only long for this and have no desire of any kind of liberation i do not want mukti also he's telling no moksha no mukti not even going to vaikuntha he is saying i just want your love that's what he's telling and then the last shloka is there namaste studam ne spura dipti dham ne twadiyo daraya tha vishwasya dham ne namo radhikaya twadiya priyaye namo nanta leelaya devaya tubhyam now the translation is o lord damodara i first of all offer my obeisances to the brilliantly fulgent rope which binds your belly because yashoda mai had tied a rope around his belly and now he's captured i then offer my obeisances to your belly which is the abode of the entire universe see point to be noted i humbly bow down to your most beloved shrimati radharani and i offer obeisances unto you the supreme lord who displays unlimited pastimes so there you go he's offering obeisances means namaskar pranam to the rope which is around his belly and then to his belly and then to radharani who is his eternal consort all right so that is it from my side damodarashtakam very beautiful very good to cultivate remembrance of god and to try to connect to him by remembering what by remembering his beautiful cheek and the reddish lips like which fruit bimba fruit yes you are right i know you remember it all right that is it from my side if you have any questions queries or comments regarding this video then please let me know in the comments and i will post this below and if you are new then subscribe to it okay until next time bye bye see you